a man who guards his soul and subdues his senses should never assent to anybody killing living beings. Sutra Kirtanga, Jainism. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaa shame. Kripya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Old clothes, worn out toys, used plastic bags, discarded metals, outdated circuit board. All of these and more can be used to create art. Recycled art, repurposing trash and helping the earth. Continue watching to find out more. If you ever visit the state of Qatar, you might hear the friendly local people say, Ehlan Basalan, which means welcome in Arabic. I'm Aisha. The people of Qatar thank Allah for peaceful leaders like you and pray sincerely for your wellness. Welcome to our show, Recycled Art, Repurposing Trash and Helping the Earth. From ancient times, art used as an expression of our collective inner beauty has played an important role in life. It is an intangible bridge for communicating our souls, enhancing our wisdom, and raising the quality of our emotions. Beautiful artworks embellish the world and remind us of our inner greatness. Through the long history of civilization, the arts have developed and undergone various innovations, always reflecting the theme of making our world a better place. Recently, one such innovation, recycled artwork, has attracted the attention of both artists and the public. With the development of society and science, all kinds of artificial materials and chemicals have been introduced into our daily lives and mass production has produced immense quantities of non-biodegradable waste along with accompanying environmental problems. Artists are taking action to address this issue by creating pieces with sustainable or recycled materials or digitizing it without using any materials at all. Today, we'll take a journey into the sustainable world of recycled art. Recycled art began to gain public attention with the collages of the world-renowned Spanish painter Pablo Picasso, who pasted small pieces of paper, photos, bits of wood, newsprint, and other small items together to create new images. He also used manufactured objects such as a bicycle seat and handlebars to create his sculpture entitled Bull's Head. Other contemporary artists like Marcel Duchamp and Robert Rauschenberg adopted the concept and repurposed objects such as bicycle tires and street signs in their artworks. During the second half of the 20th century, the junk art or recycled art movement was led by artists employing used materials. Later, the French artist César Baldicini compressed discarded objects such as newspapers, fabric, cans and even cars into sculptures which represent the huge quantity of waste inevitably generated in our consumer-based society. His work actively invites us to rethink our acts of consumption and what will be left to future generations. Thus, recycled art 
not only creates aesthetic objects, but also plays an important role in raising public consciousness about saving the environment. The recycled art movement has boomed during the past few decades, especially recently when the whole world is searching for new avenues of sustainable development. Exhibitions such as the Recycled Art Exhibition in Flagstaff, Arizona called for artwork made from at least 80% repurposed or recycled materials. In an interview, Mike Frankel, Executive Director of the Artists Coalition of Flagstaff, spoke on the value of the Recycled Art Exhibition for the community and public. The appeal of the City of Flagstaff Recycled Art Exhibition cuts across all ages and demographics in Northern Arizona. Entrants from as young as four years old to 86 have been inspired over the years to create artwork that speaks to the amount of inspiration and creativity one can put into artworks essentially created from trash, discarded materials, and materials that people have no use for anymore. Using plastics in painting, sculpture, or any art form helps to eliminate wasted articles, create something new and beautiful, and spreads a sustainable message to viewers and the public. Artwork made from recycled or reused materials comes in many forms, including fashion design, sculpture, toys, architectural design, furniture, handicrafts, and more. Luxury brands in the fashion industry such as Stella McCartney, Eileen Fisher, Mara Hoffman, and Coquelico have already created sustainable fashion designs and accessories made from recycled or reused fibers and textiles. Wearing or buying such designs reveals the true beauty of a love for Mother Earth. Guerra de la Paz, a group of Cuban artists based in Florida, have a highly creative idea for using recycled clothes to create colorful sculptures such as their Indochine flower tree and colorful Indra Danush or rainbows. Creative hands are producing many other inventive artworks from used clothes, such as beautiful decorative flowers, pillows, and fantastic recycled fabric collages. These works offer you many ideas for reusing old clothes to decorate your sweet home. Eco-conscious viewers, let's now pause to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Be vegan now. Don't wait until the hell store closes behind you. Welcome back to our show. Now let's appreciate more astonishing recycled artistic creations. Discarded objects such as jewelry, empty cans, and even bubblegum wrappers are being reused by artist Jason Mercier to create celebrity collages and amazing mosaics. UK-based artist Jane Perkins gets inspiration from anything she can find, including toys, shells, buttons, beads, and jewelry to create amazing sustainable contemporary art representing famous paintings such as Mona Lisa, Girl with a Pearl Earring, and portraits of Albert Einstein. Floridian artist Derek Gores, a master of collage art, uses shredded magazine paper, labels, and other recycled materials to create graceful paper collages depicting portraits of fashion designs or scenes from everyday life, such as across the universe. 
South African artist Bongini Butalezi, who is known for his paintings in plastics, melted used plastic bags to produce a unique artwork entitled Plastic Fantastic. Since 2015, Australian artist Michael Dudley, known as the Barefooted Welder, has walked barefoot across landfills and collected over seven tons of scrap metal, with which he creates metal sculptures welded into life-sized or gigantic pieces. His lively recycled artwork, Kali, represents the power of roaring. Indian artist Gopal Namajoshi is inspired by the concept of peaceful coexistence between humanity and the natural world. His scrap metal sculptures, which represent ecological conversations through the use of scrap metal, have been shown at exhibitions in New York, London and Dubai. The main themes of Namajoshi's sculptures relate to nature and animals, such as cows, elephants, peacocks, pigs, and birds. The nature theme of his work, Haryan Bitao, a 16 feet tall sculpture wrapped in tree branches, emphasizes the meaning of the close relationship between humans and nature. Contemporary Korean sculpture Ji Yong Ho is known for his distinctive figural sculptures using recycled tires, such as Wolfman. German artist H. A. Schultz who was referred to as an eco-art pioneer by the Washington Post, reuses all kinds of daily waste to create works such as his well-known trash people sculptures, which have stood in front of famous landmarks of ancient civilizations, including the Great Pyramid, the Great Wall of China, and the Roman Amphitheater. Using ancient landmarks, as the background for the Trash People exhibitions makes strong contrast between ancient civilizations and unwise modern pollution and consumerism and draws public attention to our own conspicuous consumption. Stephen Roderick is an innovative artist from Cuba who has created a unique style of printed circuit board or PCB sculpture made from discarded circuit boards and other electronic parts. Old computers, VCRs, radios, cell phones and other items such as capacitors, transistors and diodes which have special mechanical beauty are the inspiration for Stephen's works. His PCB sculptures remind us of the fact that technology is evolving at a rapid rate, but outdated technology can be recycled and reused to produce art rather than becoming waste. London-based environmental artist Nick Gentry paints astonishingly futuristic portraits on used products such as floppy disks, film rolls, VHS discs, vinyl record sleeves and x-rays. Even old cassette tapes can become new art, as Erica Iris Simmons has shown with her incredibly artistic celebrity portraits made from old cassette tapes, such as one of Bob Marley. Recently, sustainable architectural design has become a hot topic in the arts and sciences. Using recycled material in architecture is one of the essential initiatives in this movement. Recycled building materials not only function as the basis for construction, but also for artistic expression. Discarded objects that are beyond usefulness, such as old tires, 
waste, plastic, wood, and even soda cans are being integrated as part of sustainable modern buildings. The Can Cube building, located in Shanghai, China, is an innovative residential and office building designed by Archi Union Architects, Inc. The facade of Can Cube features a unique recycled aluminum wall made of empty soda cans. The wall can be adjusted during the day to adapt to the use of daylight. The Print Your City project in Europe has already used plastic trash to 3D print furniture. In Thessaloniki, Greece, people are involved in designing and printing their plastic trash into furniture for use in the city's public places. And the most interesting and creative aspect of this project is that the 3D printed furniture is usually designed to hold containers in which people can plant flowers or small trees inside the plastic benches. What a perfect green design! We thank all the talented individuals creating recycled art for their inspiring designs, strong examples of environmental consciousness and breathtaking artworks produced from recycled materials. Art-loving viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us today during Recycled Art, Repurposing Trash and Helping the Earth. May the future of humanity be blessed with much well-being and prosperity through our collective compassionate actions in God's grace. Don't be vegan because you don't feel the pain of tortured animals? Well, you will in hell. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.